Hello everyone, this is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a hyperlinked mobile digital travel planner or vacation itinerary. Um, this is made in Canva. You can do hyperlinks in Canva. If you know how to make digital planners using Canva or using any other kind of digital planner software like um, Adobe InDesign or... Um, keynote, stuff like that, then you're familiar with the concept of creating hyperlinks within a document to be downloaded as a PDF and then used on a device. What makes this so unique is that it's not something that's saturated. So there's not a ton of people selling this kind of product. And so that means that you can sell it at a, at a very high price point for what it is. It's the same exact concept as a digital planner, but just a more unique product. All right, so I was doing keyword research on um, Insight Factory for vacation or travel itinerary, and I came across these products. So I see here, this is a Canva template. It's a 14-page clickable links, printable PDF, editable design, and it's just a um, template. These are what the different Canva templates. And this is the product. This is all it is. Uh, this is like the home key at the top this little three line thing on this one, but the the concept is the same for all of these. So you'll, you'll see on this, there's like a picture, there's words. Okay, so that's this product, $12, 14 pages. This product is, how many pages? Um, I'm not sure, I think it doesn't say on the listing there. Doesn't even say how many pages you get on this one. But people are still buying it for $5.50. It looks like there's probably 10 pages on this one. Uh, but you can also obviously have them duplicate pages. The customer is going to customize this based on your base template. So then that one is $5.50 for 10 pages. This one's 20 pages selling for $6.76. This one is, I think, 14 pages. No, it looks like not even that many. And it's selling for $7.60. And this one is 16 pages and it's selling for $7. So all of these sell around $7 and it's like 16 pages. That's it. So imagine if you will, a digital planner product that you can create with only 16 pages, basically hyperlinked, super simple to make. It's used on a phone and it could be done in so many different iterations. So the, these are all like for, they're Italy specific. So if you're gonna be making this, you could do a whole line of these. You could do Italy, you could do Greece, you could do Jamaica, you could do any kind of specific place that people go on. You could do a cruise one, you could do it for a time of year. So it could be, um, you know, Christmas weekend planned or Christmas itinerary. You know, count down to Christmas itinerary and for each day, you could have a different event. And so it's like a, it's a schedule of events that people can store on their phone and bring up and then look and hyperlink and look through. So it's like, it could be for so many things. It could be for, you know, wedding itinerary planner on a phone for in a, um, a wedding at a destination, if you will. So that's why this is so cool. And this is so unique because it's, you can take a base template and you can customize it for any kind of vacation destination, time of year event, wedding kind of product. It's endless. So with that said, I like to, when I'm looking at a product, I get excited about making, I go, okay, what are the ingredients that makes this unique and special? So I noticed with all of them, it's an, it's a minimal aesthetic that always sells in like a boho font. So it's like a minimal boho color palette. You want to always be mindful of that. Also, they're using, they're using these frames in Canva and different shapes. That's all it is. It's a frame element and you can just build it for them. And then also it's customizable. It's done for them. They're using font as art. The font is really nice. It's like an office modern font and then just a really simple, uh, nice, more elegant font. So then on this one, same thing, except they're making it with that new modern retro font for the headers of each page but they're using a nice kind of modern color scheme. So that's on this one. And then on this one, same thing, nice modern office font, that boho color palette. And same thing with this, boho color palette, elegant font, 
modern office font um, to fill in for the other places. And that's what it is. is they're using font as art and they're using a boho color palette. So if you don't know how to get a color palette like this, you can go to a site like Coolers. That's C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. And you can just go to Explore Trending Palettes. And you'll see they'll give you the color palettes. Like this one would be perfect. And you can use this color palette for your template if it was like a, you know, just for just a regular travel one to a destination. And you can obviously choose different color palettes for different themes or whatever. But this is a great place to go to get a cohesive, trending color palette that people want. All right. So to make this product, you will go to Canva. And I started this, um, I just made a basic 16 page template. I started with the, with a nice free font. This is all free fonts for this, uh, template in Canva. This is a frame. So I just did, you know, a nice font dream Avenue is the font. And then I did glacial indifference as the modern office font. So this is the more elegant font and then this artistic font. And then this is the just basic kind of office font that's easy to read. So then I just have it to where the person could customize fonts if they want. I make it really easy. I kind of like to pre-fill these templates so that people can, um, <clears throat> it just, it makes it easier because they can envision how to use it easier if you pre-fill it with information for them. Obviously this is going to be the size of a phone. So I did it with the dimensions of the design of 1080 by 1920 pixels. Some, uh, some mobile devices are different dimensions, like different iPhones. So you can, you could, package this in a way by resizing this so you could you know type in the new dimensions and do copy and resize and you can have two sizes one for android and one for an iphone if you're packaging this after you create it you'll resize it but with that said i just put the little house icon here you can do also the the three lines if you want like that other template but it's that's there so that you can go back to the table of contents or this page here, the table of contents would go back to the, the cover page, the beginning page. But then here I have these, these different, um, shapes with the text in it. So all I did here was I grabbed a shape. I went to elements and I just went to lines and shapes and I took this guy and you can just size it how you want. And you see here, that's exactly what I did. I grabbed a trending color palette color. And I made the color for it. I put the font on top of that. And then I put that there like that. And then I duplicated it and changed it for all the different sections that I want for this vacation um, planner, travel itinerary, vacation planner, whatever. You can use all those keywords to describe this product to get more eyes on it on Etsy, like digital uh, travel itinerary. It could be a mobile vacation planner, mobile travel planner, all of those things. So then for the next page, so then I decided on all of the pages I wanted to make and then I created them from there. So then I did the trip overview. This is just a shape line here and the line comes at a um, four line weight here. I like to change it to one or two to make it lighter if it's a more elegant, like a more feminine, elegant, minimalistic product. And then I would just put that there, bring this over, and that would be that. And then what I like to do is if I like the way something looks, like you see how I have this font here like that, then for all the different sections of the planner, I will just take this, copy, I'll select over it, copy, and then just paste it right over that and then change the words. And that's how I make that. So here, obviously, that's a free graphic in Canva. Canva Again, it's in the graphic area. You'll see it here because I was using it or one similar to it right there. And you want to use all free elements in Canva for this because you have to assume that the person who's buying this to customize it for their vacation doesn't have the pro version of Canva. And trust me, if you put pro elements in there and they don't have pro, they will be writing you a nasty gram email going, what's up with this? I have to pay $1 per element. Canva's telling me I have to pay for this and I'll be mad. So you want to get around that on the front end by making sure that every element that you use is a free Canva element. As you can see, I mean, you can make this look really elegant and nice with free fonts and free graphics. So you don't even need to go, you don't even need to worry about using pro. So for this guy here, 
I just went to elements. I typed in frame. And then all of these different frame shapes come up. And I just chose the circle with an outline. It was this guy right here. And I changed the color to my boho color palette, that uh, color that I had chosen. You can see that I'm only using white, the sand color, a gray, and then a black. And then this blue is for my up here commercial use um, disclaimer for this template because this is a template that you can buy from me to just get a head start on creating this type of product and putting it in your Etsy shop or putting it, selling it on your blog or your website or whatever. Okay, so with that said, we have our drag and drop frames here. So for this, you would instruct the person to customize this. You know, this is a Jamaica, uh, Jamaica vacation. So I just have, you know, Jamaica here and, you know, photo here. So trip overview, we get there by boat, <laughs> I don't know, but then you just drag it and dropping pictures in there. Um, this is our hotel. Uh, this is where our excursion is, stuff like that. It's just, that's how you would instruct them to use it as a drag and drop way of doing it. And for these types of templates that I sell in my Etsy shop, I always create a video on how to make this kind of template because it's so much easier for a customer to understand how to use it if you make a video for it. Okay, so then the daily schedule, I did 14 days because most people take trips for seven to 14 days. And then that way you can instruct them if they want to do, I, I on this I included seven days of daily schedule itineraries and you can take it and then you can instruct them, you know, four days, seven, to um, duplicate it here, duplicate page, and then they can change this, you know, to eight, nine, 10, all the way up to 14, whatever you want to do. Obviously you can, um, if you want to sell this hyperlinked up to 14, you'll want to just duplicate the pages and make this up to 14 because you can hyperlink the pages back to this so that they have that for themselves. You can do it on the front end or you can just, um, you can, uh, if you get this template from me, you can delete these and just do seven days or you can uh, duplicate these pages here and go all the way up to 14 pages. Okay, so we're going through this and then there's a little drag and drop place for a photo here. You know, obviously it could be just that, trees or whatever. You can also pre-fill it with photos if you want. If you're selling a specific template for like Italy or destination that you already had in mind, then you can pre-fill the photos for them and that'd probably make them even happier. Less work makes the customer so much happier and more excited. Okay, so then there's all these different, play, uh, you know, you can make it pre-filled like on this for the packing list and then they can fill in other. Same here with activities, restaurants, um, and all of that. So I'll go ahead and I will show you how to hyperlink this for your audience so that you can make this a customizable template and um, make it to where they could easily just add in the docu uh, add in the information, the text, drag and drop their photos, and then they can download it as a PDF file and use that on their phone with the hyperlinks working. Okay, so to hyperlink this, you will. So for example, I told you that I wanted to make this um, go to this first cover page. This is a table of contents. So I'm going to grab this little home key and I'm going to link it to, um, to get rid of this, to page two. And you can always, if this makes it easier for you, you can type in here on the next to here where this page name is and set add page title. You could say, you know, cover page. This could be table of contents and then trip overview. Because if you do that, it's going to make it easier to know which page you're linking to. So you can go to here, get rid of that, and you can link it again. Whoops. We can click on it. Three dots. If you don't see it, the link, and you can click link. And then go to cover page and you see right here that it'll say cover page. That makes it easier if you're doing linking within a document to just rename it like that. Because otherwise you're looking at these tight, little tiny names. You're like, what is that? I, <laughs> I don't know what's what. Okay, so we have that cover page. All right. And then we have trip overview and we want to hyperlink that real fast back to the table of contents. 
So you want to do that for these, these main pages. So for example, the daily schedule, this would be a page that the, each individual day is hyperlinked. You do home here and that'll take you back to here. So you want to be mindful when you're hyperlinking where each page is going to go. So you don't have to scroll through the, the planner and get, so you want to make it easily navigate, navigable by your end user. Okay, so trip overview is going to go back to the table of contents. Great. So then here, daily schedule, this home is going to link back to table of contents. But then here, day one, you can click on this button and you can click on link. But you can also, a little secret trick, is you can click on this text here and then you can go to link. And you can click on, we'll just rename this real fast. So day one, day two, day three, day four, so on and so forth. Okay, so we'll go back here and we'll click on this text here and we'll go to the three dots to get to hyperlink it. And then we'll go to day one. And that'll be that. But then you see here that this is underlined. Well, what if we don't like that aesthetically? What if we just think we're like, oh no, that's not how we want it to look. We want it to not have any underlines because it's a button. It's clear it's a button. And so you can go to here at the top where the text is and you can click on that underlined and get rid of it. So then also obviously you can click on the button to, to link that and you can go to five and you can whoops not five we want to link that to day one so day one done so then when they use this it's going to hyperlink if they click on the button or on the text to day one and that's what we want okay so that's how you hyperlink it between the pages and then also for the buttons for the home key and then back from the table of contents to the main cover page of the vacation. And then over here, I wanted to show you the, for like restaurants, you can also do this for the attractions area. You can put, you know, business website for your template here, 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 if you want people to be able to link to it. I think that that's really um, nice for, um, for helping you under, like get more information about where you want to go. So for this business website, you can, you know, do www.restaurant.com and then you can, you know, take this and then hyper hyperlink that and then do, you know, this is outside hyperlink. So we can do www.restaurant whatever the URL is for the restaurant, you can paste it here.com hit enter and it'll hyperlink to that destination. So you can also, you know, just put the restaurant name here and just put the name and then you can hyperlink it out to the business website. Okay. So you've gone through all of this. You've hyperlinked it. Everything is done. And now you're ready to, and now you are instructing your end user on how to use this as a template. So then what you're going to do is click on share and then you're going to go to download and you're going to go to PDF and then for digital use and then download the template. And then that way they can download it and then they can um, use it on their phone. You can tell them to email it th to themselves and use it on their phone. And then that way you can make sure to um, have them use it correctly and in a way that makes sense for them. So. I hope that this video has helped you to understand how to use this template, customize it, and instruct your end user on how to use it.